Well, good morning, ladies and gentlemen. The destruction of independent Ukraine and revival of the Soviet Union are the ultimate aims of Russian President Vladimir Putin, according to Ukraine's Prime Minister. Uh, let me put it bluntly, we are still in the state of war and the key aggressor is Russian Federation. And until we get the peace, it would be really difficult to have real changes. Russian troops still have a major presence in Ukraine's war-torn east, holding gains made against Ukrainian troops in the regions of Donetsk and Luhansk prior to the September 5th ceasefire. Ukraine and its western allies now worry these gains could be cemented to create a frozen conflict. Russia is a threat to the global order and to the security and stability in the entire Europe. At the first stage, he decided to annex Crimea. At the second one, he wants to build up a frozen conflict in Donetsk and Lugansk. At the third one, he wants to facilitate the corridor from Donetsk, Lugansk to Kherson, Odessa and Transnistria. And at the fourth one, he wants to eliminate Ukraine as an independent country. This is my take on this. The shaky ceasefire agreed by Russia, Ukraine, the insurgents and the OSCE is still largely holding despite sporadic violations. Yatsenyuk said NATO membership for Ukraine will be the best defense against Russian aggression. So the idea is to say it bluntly and clearly that NATO in these particular circumstances is the only vehicle how to protect and defend Ukraine. I do understand that not all NATO members were happy with this kind of statement.